is on this bus going on there. <laughs> Hello guys, I don't know if this is the start of the vlog or not, but if it is, we're well, having a wonderful... Shut up. Right, so basically the, 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 the format, right? Basically straight knockout, so... Um, we got the hardest game we're ever going to play in our life in, in Anders and Umut. Not much else to say, it's just going to be a hard game. If we win though, we're in the semi-final, if we win that, we're in the final, and if we win again, we, we won it. So we've got our team, right? Keeper, Van der Sar, you've got other options, but Van der Sar's needed for Van Dijk. Left back, you've got three options, Mendy, Theo, or Cap de Villa. Uh, Theo, I hate. Mendy, no chemistry. Cap de Villa, he's a fighter, he fights for the badge. He may not be the best guy, but he's a fighter. We're going to need fighters to win this game. Uh, Cafu, uh, chemistry. I'd rather use Walker, but Cafu's in the team. Um, if you look, watch my channel, in Cafeteria, and, you know. <laughs> Paolo, aka Theo's dad at CB. Very, very, very good footballer. Uh, and we've got the man for the corners, VVD. Um, if you watch my FGS1 vlog, then you'll see a, a lot of corners are scored. But it's harder to score corners in 2v2. And he's better than me. Um, basically, let me tell you what's going to happen. We get a corner. Yo, we just it in back post. I get my guy. I've got the keep off from the line. Yo, Bosh. Can you broke it? You can go buy it now at shop.com. Um, we've got ASOS here. ASOS. If you guys remember me and Donovan modeling for ASOS time ago instead of pictures here. Um, but yes, new fanatic kit, what do you guys think? Let me know. Well guys, welcome. It's great to have you here. You know this stage very well. Both of you have been on the biggest stages when it comes to the FIFA esports scene. Diogo, I'll start with yourself, but there's nothing bigger than playing against RB Leipzig and of course Vergang and Umet. I disagree, man. It's just another game. Um, we just have to go out there, play our game, and uh, if we do, we will win. Tex, if you were to say, looking at all of the opponents that you're coming up against or could possibly be coming up against, are these the most difficult out of the eight? Yeah, man, they're the best team in the tournament, probably. You've got the world champion at Nanda's Verge Gang, the people that can't be beaten. I have a feeling that you guys are... Uh, mind games are going on here. Are you, are you saying that you're the underdogs going into this one? Absolutely. They finished top of the group, we didn't. They finished on 20 points, we finished on 12. How are they? How are we not the other dogs? Tex, what's happened to you guys? I mean, normally you're coming out here, you've got plenty of confidence, but it feels like you're being quite modest. Nah, it's saying how it is, isn't it? We're really underdogs. And, um, you know, it's the first time in a while, but, you know, we are own it. We're going to the lobby, we play our game, and hopefully it's enough. Fanatic so far have had all of the ball. It's Yaya Torre fancies that one from the edge of the box. It was time green, but that's a warning shot fired. They might have only scored eight goals. Well, they're looking to add a ninth form to their tally. Corner to come in now towards that area. And just like that, Fnatic take the lead. I'm not too sure about the formation. I think it might be a 4-2-3. I'm not entirely sure. But the way that they're, they're building up their attacks, they're waiting for the passing lanes to open, doing the step overs into space to get the speed boost. It's a great play there from Tex. It's Cafu, Tex. The captain of this team driving down the byline and putting on a play for his teammate. Two goals to nil, Fnatic leads. They might have come into this and said, look, we're the underdogs. But what a start they've had. They've silenced RB Leipzig. Can not argue against Fnatic. They have not put a foot wrong so far. Mbappe. This is Tex now. Trying to outsmart Umit. Enjoyed himself, back inside, Diogo, one more, oh no, oh, it's oh. horrendous goalkeeping from Donnarumma. Wow. But they're not going to care, are they? 3-0. What blows my mind even more, Ryan, is that throughout the group stages, Fnatic averaged one goal a game. They've just scored three in a quarter final with $25,000 on it and all the pressure. This is without doubt, though, the best I've seen Fnatic play. I know it's easy to say that they're winning against arguably the tournament favourites, so you can say that it's always going to be their best game, but just the build-up play, the discipline, the structure in defence, the composure in possession has been perfect, and rightly so, they go into the second leg, three goals up. Fnatic just cruising, popping the ball around. Well, there's no tomorrow, though. This is not a core final. One more pass. Tex makes it for Fnatic. Put on one hell of a show and one hell of a performance. 4 0. See, it's not even a, a celebration from Tex Day. He's sort of just telling Yoga, all right, it's not done yet. Let's keep it going. Let's keep prodding. Let's keep pushing. They want to make a statement here. Tex again, Jarzinho this time. Both Umit and Anders just bearing down on the Brazilian to just try and stop him in his tracks. Diogo. 
It's great, great movement there from Tex as well. Just to offer the, the run as a supporting pass there with Jerzinho. Nice. Oh, Tex on a play. Diogo. Oh, no. <laughs> the rest is history. Woo. Five. This is, this is wow. This is top stuff. I'll be honest. This might be the best performance. For sure, it's the best 2v2 performance I've ever seen. There's a slight rivalry between Tex and Verzgang and Anders. There is, because again, people are sort of saying if Anders could compete that, that era when he was going 500 or games unbeaten in foot champs, if he was able to compete, he would have won it all. But then Tex has somebody that has actually won it all. Somebody that sort of, he might feel as if there's been a, an unfair comparison. Mbappe stopped in his tracks, Anders that time. Fnatic look for goal number six. Maybe they might just find it now. Tex back with R9. Tex Let's go, man! Degree. Let's fucking go! Semi finals in the books if it wasn't already done so. <laughs> and a little celebration to add on. <laughs> That's all we've been missing. And they're not done yet. We oh, want another one. Don't. Tex is having the time of his life. You know what? Let them enjoy it. Towards the back post, we won seven! <laughs> All right. <laughs> They've nearly scored eight goals, Ryan. <laughs> they only scored eight goals in the group stages. They've nearly scored eight in one game. No, it's been a, it's been a one-sided game. It's been a fantastic performance from Fnatic, Diogo and Tex. They've been the best team from the first minute and they've shown it and they could even get an eighth here. Here we go. Diogo stopped moving. Tex, Tex. Tex is going to score. With our nine, eight like, goals. They've just done it. They've matched the group stage goal tally. They got across eight games of FIFA. They've done it in the quarter final. Wowee. What a way to announce yourself back. For 2023, Tex in Diogo, setting the mark, setting the pace, mate. Because I don't think anyone will be able to keep up with them if they go like that. Today is the championship day. We play complexity in the semis. Obviously, we played Leipzig last time in the quarters. It was a good game. Probably the best performance, best two, two, two performance I've seen for myself. Yeah, probably. Uh, now, the difference is against Leipzig, we were, I'd say we are heavy underdogs from the general perspective of the public but for this one we're heavy favorites um so we don't look at the outside world we look at ourselves and what did i say before the anders game if we play our game and we play our game if we play our game and it's not enough no if we play our game and it's enough it's enough but if it's not enough it's not enough yeah. something like that oh shut up something happened last night ea dropped a live tuning update We've got 10 seconds the boss is almost here yeah, EA dropped the live tuning update, patching corners. Uh, as you guys know, we scored one against Leipzig yesterday. It's actually the only one we scored all tournament, but we just got good at corners and EA patched him. It's like they're trying to stop us from winning this tournament. Uh, so I guess we're gonna have to go short from now on. Back in the day for breakfast, right? I used to have like, you know, Haribo's strawberry laces for breakfast before like tournaments I won. So in case this one might be the new champion's breakfast. We've got Rocky Road cookie crisps. That Lynn's beef jerky, that's the key. Right now, remember, if you win this game, grand final guaranteed. Much more than that, Ryan, and the $35,000 FIFA E Club World Cup guaranteed. You're a pro player yourself. You'll be competing with Manchester City. Just how hard is it to make it to that tournament? Because we are talking weeks and weeks of qualifications. This ball comes into the box. And just like that, Diogo will get Fnatic off the mark. It's a time green header from Pele. Fnatic push forward here. Hey, what is a chance? It's Tex now with Jorginho. Timed it green. It's two for two. And they've got one minute of additional time if they want to go forward again. I don't know if they'll have enough time to play the last attack. I think they might just about do so. Referee pulls it back for a free kick. That could be taped quickly. Here's Hullet with Tex. Charge goal. Wow. Wow. That Quick is... instincts from Fnatic that may have just given them the biggest of advantages. Headed into the second leg. Now Torre inside, is Diogo now of R9. Mbappe, Tex, easy, surely great save at the side. What a save that could be. Our keeper's made a big save now. We need to push on and just force Fnatic into mistakes here, but it's, it's complex. Ooh. That's a massive win. It's a massive chance. Maxi, goal, game on. That's the mistake I was talking about, Brandon. That's the one there. 
Ronaldinho numbers in the box, loads of Fnatic shirts. They're not silly though, they don't need to rush into the box, they've already got a two goal cushion. So well defensively, isn't it? You don't know if they're coming to attack, you don't know if they're coming to score, or they're just going back out the other way. Even more time taken out of the game, eight minutes left. From a grand final for Fnatic. This is great defensive play. This is very smart game management, just resorting to keeping possession, of course. It's a minute left, plus additional time, Fnatic. They might not have topped their group. They might have lost a game to Movistar Riders, and it might not have been the cleanest of group stage run-ins, but one thing they did have was two top players defensively that were incredible. And since coming back after the winter break, this team has just improved, improved, and gone through the gears. They will take the first ticket to the FIFA E club. Let's fucking go. Right, one last game, man. My bad, my bad. <laughs> that was shit, I can't lie. From my individual point of view, that's the worst 2 2 player in a long, long time. Diogo kept his head, Diogo, you know. It's all him, man. It's all fucking him. Come on, man. Let's go, man. Let's go. We're to the final, where we should have been for a while, you know. Last year we should have got there, but it hasn't, hasn't been the case. But now, we've got one game, one big game left. If we play well and play how we know we can, we can win. Um, and that's the goal, so... Yeah, I, got, I, I don't know what to say, it's the final win, man. You know what's up. Come on. Come on, be small. Yeah. Fnatic kicking from left to right in this one. TGNIP in that white strip from right to left. Keep an eye on those individual player curses because they'll both be playing such a different role in this 2v2 matchup. And if Tex was to be successful here, he also puts a real serious claiming to be the best 2v2 player that we've seen. Uh, a, a Club World Cup trophy with Nicholas, a top four with Tom Lees when he was playing at Fnatic in uh, Milan. That was Club World Cup 2020 and now a victory here, a top six at the Tops Cup as well. I, I think he's He's well within his right to say I'm, I'm one of the, the best, if not the best, twos player. But they're the only team that I'm pretty sure has used the Italian defender. is a chance, Mbappe, this is Tex! Perfect start for Fnatic! And who else would it be than the captain of the team? He scored first to try and take the game to It's a great chance. Goes down to ground. We question why Maldini was in the team, and it's for moments like that where he might not have knew much about it, but had to be brave and just did enough. I think they've done though. Fnatic has been so regimented at the back. This is Jamaican as overall being great. Half time. Fnatic lead by a goal to nil. Tech scoring with Mbappe. Yeah, and there's him. Should be able to link up. It's a great chance. Mbappe, Olilito, the swing. Oh, penalty. Virgil van Dijk. We've said how good he's been in the back. Red card. Wow. It's a red card. 52 minutes on the clock, and it's a massive game-changing moment. Can Levy hold his nerve from the spot? Just come out of the back for a penalty shootout. With Pele over it. Of course he scores! Wow. The game has changed, ladies and gentlemen. 40 minutes left to play. 10 men. This was the penalty given. Beautiful feat. I mean, look. I don't know what. It's a harsh red card. <laughs> Does it like? We, are we like talking? A button's been in, we're inputted talking, there. We're talking double jeopardy. Are you thinking it's a slide tackle? It's not. It's, it's not even that. It's just a, it's just a toe. The last 30 minutes will be played. On the flip side, there's just going to be that bit of pressure from TG and IP to say, look, we have to make the most of it. Yes, the gaps up top now. They've they've replaced the gap at the back. It's not going to be much of an attacking threat. Can we add another body forward? Here's. Here, Hernandez cuts it back inside. This is nice. Mbappe! Oli Lito says yes, please! And they are making it count. Play there by Tex. Yeah, that's all right. You also be even, you need to be even more disciplined, though, for Fnatic. Oh, Levy, stop it! Pele! So it's about being disciplined, not playing, pulling players out of position. Sometimes there's nothing you can do. Down the ball and cuts it back. Cruyff. Corner. We're to corner, and those corners have had a slight change in the last 24 hours. Don't think I'll see this come directly in, though we won't. Play short, great feet again. Olilito towards the back post, and that will do us. Remember last year? From what? Against Top Nick? Two, yeah. goal, two goals bouncing guy. Oh, man. That's in the head as well, man. We've set the table. We know what's being served in front of us. It's a set menu. 
It's a team holding ninja in pajamas defense and a fanatic attack. You watch every single player back. Pelat, Diogo, great pass into his teammate. Pull it with Tex, will remain composed. He'll try and cancel a skill move or two. For you, 45 minutes left in this grand final. For Fnatic to find two goals. Fnatic, can they break down this team? Is there a way round? Nevian. In the lead, so this place passed there. Referee goes back for an advantage and it goes into the book. So I have to say the refs being pretty card happy uh, <laughs> across this grand final. Oh, well, around there, off the bench as well. That foot here over. Saudi Arabian, what's that back pose? Could be a gift, Olilito! That could be a game set match! Championship point! Ronaldinho across to Levy David. There you go! If it wasn't done already, now it is! So we lost in the final. Um, it's annoying, you know, it's annoying because First leg we won the lock fine, they get a penalty. It was a penalty, so like whatever, like it would go one more. But they gave us ten men. It's not a ten men tackle. It was a standing tackle, not a slide tackle. If it was a slide tackle, I understand. Um and we go three one down that leg, couldn't do anything. And then second leg, we just didn't do enough to get back in the game. So is it deserved for them? Yeah. Could it be a different story if uh, if there wasn't wasn't a fuck Yes, if the ref wasn't a fuck <laughs> but nah. Um all good. Thank you guys for watching and um, Let's look at the On to the next one, unfortunately.